Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to go over how to store your cryptocurrencies. Now, there are many ways out there, and I'm going to try to break it down simply for you on how we do that. So let's dive right on in. So storing your cryptos. Woo, I hope you like this PowerPoint. <laughs> now, when you buy cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, it gets stored in what's called a wallet. A wallet comes with a private key. The private key is sort of like a password. There are a long string of numbers and letters that are assigned to your wallet. Something like this, but longer. If you want to keep your coins to stay safe, then you need to keep your private keys safe. So don't just let anybody hold on to your private keys, because that's a big no-no. Whoever has access to these have access to your coins, and they can do whatever they want with them. So... Be safe out there and never give your private keys away. Now, there are a few different types of walls to store your cryptos on. We have exchanges, financial apps, software wallets, and hardware wallets. Now, the easiest way to store your cryptos is right on the exchange where you bought them. Exchanges such as Coinbase, Gemini, BitTrue, any one of them, KuCoin out there, allow you to buy, sell, and manage your cryptos right on their platform. These exchanges hold onto your private keys so you don't have access to it. So if these guys are holding onto your crypto private keys, you're not in control. So you must be trusting the company to keep them safe. Sure, they got insurance policies out there on it and whatnot, but do you really trust a company to be in control? Yeah. So you might not want to store large amounts on the exchanges. Like you can store a little bit, it's okay, fine, but just don't store a lot of them. Next up, there's also options of going with financial apps that does more than just crypto. Companies like PayPal, Robinhood, Venmo, Webull have added options to buy and sell cryptocurrencies. But with these apps, they may leave you stuck doing the transactions in their own environment. So with PayPal, Robinhood, Venmo, you have to cash out with them. And also, you don't have access to your private keys. You can't move around your cryptos. These guys are in whole, full control of them. So yes, stay safe. And again, hold on to your own private keys. I'm going to keep reiterating that. Like, if it's not your coins, or not your keys, not your coins. <laughs> so yeah, so the financial apps is a way you can hold on to your cryptos, but you're stuck using their platform. A good tip is that any crypto wallet that won't give you your own private keys should be used with caution. Again, that's because you're trusting those precious private keys to a third party. You want to be in full control of your keys. Not your keys, not your coins, like I said. <laughs> now, the other types of wallets out there are software wallets. For more control, you can store your coins on your own computer or phone in a digital wallet. This uses software to manage your cryptos. There is some risk of getting hacked and losing your money if the computer or phone is connected to the internet. So a tip with that is get a crypto-only phone or computer that is only connected to the internet when doing crypto activities. So don't use a phone that anybody can get a hold of it, take it to the bathroom, go on some sketchy website and boom, your cryptos are potentially hacked. Now the safest way to hold your cryptos is a hard wallet. If you have a large sum of coins, it's best to keep them in what's known as a cold wallet. Also a hardware wallet. A cold wallet means that your private keys are stored on a device that's not connected to the internet. It can be a separate hard drive or thumb drive. Companies like Treasure and Leisure make devices especially for crypto currency wallets. The devices have an extra protection built in the software to keep your coins and private keys safe. So you get to hold on to your own cryptos, your own private keys. Now this is what I use. I have a Treasure 1 and Model T, both models. The Model 1 holds less coins than the Model T, but the Model T has a nice touch screen capability on it, and it's a bigger screen to see. But both these models work exactly the same, and they are very easy to use. Now, these are little devices that you plug into a computer via the USB. If I want to access my coins, I need to plug it into there and enter a pin. The pin is a multi-changing combination. So like every time you plug it in, it scrambles the numbers up, but you got to type in, you know what your pin is, so just type it in. So it makes it a little bit harder for a hacker to get in. If you ever lose your treasure or it breaks, you can still access the coins with a recovery seed. 
Mm -hmm. So that is something like the private keys. So seed phrases and recovery phrases. The recovery seed, or also known as a seed phrase, is very important and should be written down and kept in a safe place. A good tip is never take a photo or keep any digital record of your seed phrase. This will make your coins at risk to a hack. So keep it very safe. So again, as we're talking about uh, phones or computers connected to the internet, if you have a copy of your seed phrase, pretty much uh, that person, that hacker, can get into your phone because it's already can promise, and they can steal your seed phrase, upload it to a new wallet, and send your coins off to their personal crypto wallet. So keep this safe as well. If your wallet is lost or broken, use a seed phrase to recover your coins on a new device, such as if a hacker got it, you can recover it. So that's why, again, keep your seed phrases safe. Never tell them what they are. The seed phrase is just a 12 to 24 random mnemonic words that are given to you when you set up your device. It could be like book, apple, car, telephone. Just It's random numbers, 12 to 24. Treasure uses 12, but just random numbers. So keep those words protected and safe. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. <laughs> so that's a little basic introduction to wallets out there. I know, I know, it's kind of fast, but I hope I made this video very simple for you to understand. Again, you can also get a crypto-only laptop by Calyx Solutions. I'll leave a link down below. And that is a computer built strictly for cryptocurrency transactions and holding your cryptos. And it's got all that built-in software protection like Treasure and Ledger do. And my honest opinion, I prefer Treasure over Ledger because it's just so much easier. Ledger is like tiny and whatever, but yeah. <laughs> Go do your own research again, people. Look up the wallets out there. See what works best for you. Just be safe. Keep your private keys and your seed phrases protected. Don't tell them to anybody. And yeah, just play it safe in the crypto world. So good luck, people. If you need any help, uh, contact Bitcoin Consultants Worldwide and look for the Crypto Sherpa. I am glad to help you out with anything you need. So thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe and share it with your friends. And I will see you in the next video.